Hi. Um, just wanted to say a quick thank you to everyone who watched uh, my last video about the uh, Dooney and Burke Nano and Micro comparison. Um, I promised a few people in one of the groups I participate in that I would do an updated review and um, I guess give my thoughts about using uh, the Nano. Um, so it's been essentially almost a year and um, I want to say maybe the second time I used this particular bag, I got a water spot. So I'm not exactly sure what dripped on it. I think maybe I had a cup last summer and um, maybe some lotion or something on my hands, but it has a water spot right there. I don't know if you can see it. And um, it kind of turned me off from using this bag because of the one spot. You can't really see it, you know, when using it, but it really discouraged me from using this. Um, still love the bag, but I will say it's not as practical as I wanted it to be. I have a few other uh, crossbodies that I've uh, been utilizing more. Uh, these are still really, really cute. Um, I used this one this weekend just so I can kind of remember uh, what it's like to use this bag. I think now I have the stuffing in it. Yeah, I do. So here's the strap that's in here. I'm going to take that out just for now. I have a few little charms that I've put on this one. This is a coach key um, and lock charm. And this is my Burberry Regimen charm. I think that's what it's called. I found this on eBay for like a steal. So um, I had it for a few years now. And the essentials that I use inside of my crossbody bags um, are pretty much the same, but I do use a different wallet now. So um, this wallet was recommended to me by, I'm going to say, my boo. Um, it's one of the ladies in another group that I participate in who um, helps me get all of my bags, my coach bags, at an extremely discounted um, price. So love you, she knows who, who she is. Um, <clears throat> but she recommended this wallet. And um, I can say it's been a game changer. Um, so it has enough uh, slots for all of my cards. And then there's an additional slot here. I don't know if you can see it. And I keep some credit cards and gift cards in there. And then there's one, two, three slots on this side and then two here. And then there's an additional pocket right there. And then it zips where you can put cash and coin. So this is from Coach and I think it's called a, a multi multi-card slot wallet. They come in different variations, but um, this is the one that I have. So I've been using this for maybe five or six months. And at least now during COVID, you know, kind of running errands and whatnot, this is the one that I'll be continued using, especially since all of my bags are pretty much, um, you know, carry bags, really small crossbody bags. So I've been using this and I'm going to put this back in here. I still have uh, my key holder, which I use for my house keys. If I'm carrying this bag, I would like to carry lotion because you know hand sanitizer, depending on which one you have, it'll dry your hands out. So I like to carry that with me too. 
my little T'Challa chapstick. And I don't see my car keys down here. They're upstairs, I think, but it's pretty small. This is about the size of my phone, which I'm using to record. So I'll put this inside of here as well. And if you can see, what I have to do is kind of turn this sideways and it, it's not easy to get my phone in and out of this bag. It's very irritating. So this is the bag that I've been that I use today. It's a Chanel inspired bag from Amazon that I've had for a few years. I've always wondered, you know, if the classic flap or double flap was really worth it. So I got this for about $100. It's real leather. It's pretty cool, but it did let me know that I don't think a um, a double flap is for me. But this one is pretty cool. It was raining today, so I used this. Um, and in here, I have uh, doggy bags. Oh, that's an update. I'll tell you back. I'll tell you about in a second. And then some some cash and receipts that I don't really need to put in here. But if I'm going out and um, I'm going to take our puppy with us, I usually take this as well. So right now it still seems like you know it's a lot of room. Don't know if you all can see that. The lighting is not the best in here. Okay. So it's not heavy. So my thoughts on it. It's not heavy. But after walking around for about 45 minutes, you feel the weight of this bag with all of these things in it. So including my phone and my car keys. You feel the weight of this bag. And um, it's not ideal. So I don't mind it for something cute, kind of on the run. Um, but I haven't reached for this one or the brown one that's back here. I haven't really reached for either one of them. Why, you may ask? Because I got uh, this Tabitha Simmons small crossbody in black with the studs. And I also got it in pink. So I've been using this bag primarily to run out the house and run errands. And um, first of all, it's super light. It's super light, really good leather. And because it has the gold and the silver hardware, I don't have to worry about which accessories I have on with it. Really nice interior suede. And to be honest, you know, although these bags were, you know, like such a rage and, you know, the price was really great, this bag irritates me as well because it's really small. And I feel like if I'm at a um, checkout, if I'm in line, I'm playing Tetris to try to hurry up and push my things back inside of the bag. So, Again, let's say that this is my phone that fits in there. This is, again, the wallet that I've been using. That goes in. And then I have my keys house keys. Now, once I put my house keys inside of this bag, I really can't get anything else in here. Even if I have my car keys, 
I may lay them on top, but um, I find this to be cumbersome. I don't really utilize this front pocket. And I don't utilize this other interior pocket that I keep all of the care cards. And so this bag at retail was $3.95. I don't know if y'all can see that. That was $3.95. <clears throat> And I think you saw in another video that, you know, this was available on the Coach Outlet site. But even though this bag irritates me uh, because I can't use it as easily as I want to, um, this is the bag that I've been using. Great crossbody. Really cute. Comes down to the perfect length compared to this one it's great it's cute um i will note that today was that today no yesterday i ran out of the house just for a quick minute um and forgot that it was raining and took this bag with me and the regular rain just you know straight rain it didn't leave any water spots so that leads me to believe that whatever this was, I either had something on my hands or something from the cup. You know, it had something, it wasn't just regular water, um, but this spot still irritates me. And anybody else who has a Florentine bag, you know that your nails tend to scratch. Not really showing here but your nails tend to scratch the top of the bag and see like there's a couple of scratches and that a patina and kind of blend in over time and i guess i could kind of rub it out i haven't done that but um it irritates me i still love it but i think that i'm pretty much over the mini bags so I'm not getting rid of this. It's super cute, but um, it's not my go-to bag. Now, I know that they've come out with this bag in the Fuchsia, I think it is. Still a really cute bag, but I wouldn't recommend this size. If I were to get the Fuchsia bag, I would get it in a mini, me personally. Um, overall, cute bag, not as functional as I want it to be. Um, these bags, the Tabitha Simmons small crossbody bags are also cute bags, not as functional as I want them to be, but they make an outfit look really cute. And um, I guess that's it. That's my update. Um, yeah, I'm gonna think I'm going to do a couple of more videos uh, tonight now that I'm in the mood to film. Um, this is my little setup. As you can see, all these things over here. <laughs> this is all of my puppy supplies. He has his own shelf. So um, that's kind of another reason that it's taken me a really long time to um, do an update. He's taken over our house. So in August of 2020, we got, uh, we had adopted a um, Lhasa Apso. His name is Apollo. And um, he's pretty much turned our basement into his playroom. So um, it is what it is. But this is part of my corner. All of this kind of back here around me is where my desk and everything was um, that I have kind of blocked off so he can't get to any of my bags that I have down here and um, any of my work supplies uh, that I use. And then I have two cabinets upstairs filled with persons. <laughs> um, again, I just wanna say thank you to everyone. I can't believe how many views uh, that first video about these bags uh, had. 
Thank you so much. I hope it was helpful. You know, I'm not, you know, as, as I said before, like a YouTuber. So my videos are strictly to kind of uh, inform you of things that I've got, uh, things that I like. And, um, you know, feel free to leave suggestions for uh, content or things that you want to see. Over this past year, I've purchased way too many things <laughs> that I probably shouldn't have, uh, but I love them all. Um, I do a little bit of thrifting as well as finding like amazing coach deals, thanks to my boo. And um, yeah, so I think I'm gonna make one or two more videos tonight, upload them hopefully, and um, again, Thank you, everybody. And if you have any questions, I'll try to answer as many as I can. And um, I think that's it. Have a good night.